Okay. Okay. All right. Up. And then I have one more. We've got so. Anne Marie. I love the painting behind you. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, I, I love can the admit painting her. behind Loretta. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got that from when my company was moving. It was in the boardroom and they were going to get rid of it. And I said, I want that painting. <laughs> so wow. It's very pretty. You can't get rid of a painting. No. <laughs> Dadman, why can't we see Marion and Anne? Should I be doing something? I'm trying to figure well, out the should. camera. They have to put on video. Yeah, they yeah they have to turn on their video. Oh, I usually put a sticker because I heard there that. Hi, Anne. Anne. Hi, Anne. Hi, Hi, Anne. Hi, Hi everybody. <laughs> Hi. Okay, seven thirty meeting. You can start. All right, we're just waiting for um. Oh, here's Bridget. I'll let her in. Yeah. Where is she? Are you expecting Shannon? Uh, hi, Bridget. Hi, Bridget. Hi. Hello. Bridget's Hello. at the lake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold <laughs> on, let me. <laughs> What'd you say? I was at school. I'm sorry, what? I had that up for when I was in a class. Yeah, yeah. So, Marion, can oh. you hear us? Yeah. She'll be right with us. Okay. Are you okay if we start? We don't see you. So you're just going to turn on the camera sure. later? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm trying to figure out how to get the camera on. Oh, well, at the bottom, it says uh, stop, uh, start video, the left-hand side. Okay. Like, it'll say mute, and which obviously you're not. There you go. There you we are. See yeah, you. We see you now. Okay. Yeah. So can you see us? Yep. I see you, John. All right. We're good. We have I, I don't hear you because you're on mute. What'd you say? John's on mute. Okay, got it. Okay. Now you're on Hello, mute. John. Okay. And so Damien is running the meeting because Dan had another meeting. So she's going to slip out, which she has, yeah. I guess, okay. if we need her, we'll call her. Somebody has uh, some noise in the background. Carmel, is that your TV? or? Probably I'll go shut it. <laughs> okay, great. So it's 7... 31, Jillian, for starting the meeting. And um, the beginning of the meeting is, welcome, Bridget. Where Hello. is she? Hi, Bridget. Oh, yeah. official, <laughs> official member. Yay. Yay. <laughs> you got that done all nice and fast. And thank yes. you to Sue Slater and the uh, Board yes, of Selectmen for rushing that through. So that's mm -hmm. good. Um, Happy to. Approving the April minutes. I so move. Carmel and yes. a second. Loretta seconded. Is that true? Yes. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. All right. Aye. All good. Um, hello. Is anybody here for a public comment? <laughs> I didn't think so. Okay. <laughs> um, Loretta, can you run the show for the sculpture public pocket park? Yeah. Um well, we had some results from, we didn't, Park and Rec didn't do their prior, but they did very actively put it on their website a number of times and a couple other, the town Facebook pages picked it up. So we ended up, we got about 15 results, 15 comments back. And I, Catherine's included those comments with the minutes, but I, I tried to summarize them a little bit. Okay. And what I was looking at today is there was seemed to be a couple of different categories. There was about five comments that related to the town and its history. Something there was two of them about the ironworks district. There mm -hmm. were two about the history of farming. Mm -hmm. One about how Reverend Brooks and the surrounding towns became Brookfield. And then another category, there was three, which people suggested abstract people, children playing, mm -hmm. and an interactive sculpture with a bench or a chair relating to people. Okay. There was two other comments were regarding essential workers or something related to 
which obviously we all love our essential workers lately. I'm I'm not downplaying playing them, but I think that's a little too topical. You know, <laughs> this point in time maybe mm -hmm. it may not be our path to go. Um, there was another comment for the flag a flagpole, which the town has already given us feedback on that they were mm -hmm. interested in a flagpole at that location. Another comment regarding a Brook, Brookfield's airport. That was interesting. I never knew that. That was. Mm -hmm. And I do remember years ago, I went to a hair person to cut my hair there, Jerry's Airport. And she told us a story about how that area was an airport at one time. And I spent about 45 minutes today trying to research that. And I wasn't able to find any reference to that in anything. But I'm not saying it doesn't exist. If we do think that's interesting, then we should reach out to the historical society or something. So did you used to, did you say you used to get your hair cut there? Yes. Shannon, with um, Jerry? Yes, Jerry's Hairport. Yeah, I didn't remember, because I used to go there too. I didn't remember her saying it was a, a, an airport. Interesting, okay. Now, she also had an interest in aviation. So I don't know whether it was just a personal thing. Like maybe somebody had a farm there and they had an airfield within their farm field. I, I don't know, but. I'm pretty sure she was a pilot. Yeah. But. So we could, we, we could re if we have an interest in that, we could research that further. Okay. Um, and then the, there was three more comments, but they were more based on theme. Um, one person said it should be an abstract. Another person said it should be something about be kind. And the third person thought it should be modern, colorful, and mobile, and no horses. So, <laughs> excuse me, modern, what? Colorful. 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 And mobile. Mobile, I, I would have to go back to the. Yeah, because the mobile place, that's right on the corner there. It's Stop. Stop. Yeah. It's also a show. We have enough mobiles. <laughs> so of the comments that we got, I felt as if the ones that were either historical or people-based seemed to be angles that we could further on. And then, then we could incorporate whether it's modern or it's colorful or it's abstract or it's be kind. I mean... Mm -hmm. um, we really wanted to ask the, the whole commission if they have had any ideas that, or, you know, want to contribute because you, you weren't on this little handout with all this. So did anybody have any ideas that they wanted us to? No, but Loretta, there was a, a note from a reporter from the News Times. Right. Yes. We're waiting for this meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were afraid we didn't want to have them post an article that went Connecticut wide and then we had contributions from all of Connecticut. Right. Okay. Happened in Brookfield. I thought you wanted to get a little bit more like um, an idea where the money's coming from, like grants and stuff like that. Yes, that's Jillian. I guess that when you spoke with her, she wanted to know how, what was our process to get money and make a selection. And we were all... We're, that was too premature for us. Yes. Mm. Circle back to her, but it'll be once we have a plan more. Right. Yeah, a couple of ideas from that list uh, look pretty interesting. I, I like the one about friendship and children. I think there was an image of um, kids holding <laughs> hands or something right. like that. Yeah, like, yes. there it is. Yeah. And, can you and see that? One? Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, so that, that's, that's the one I had in mind. And then the other one I kind of <laughs> like, and I've seen in a few other places, is something that's it's static, but it's interactive. It's like the, that there was this one of uh, sitting on a bench next to a sculptured person. Yeah, I think it was Mark Twain sitting. Mm. Yeah. yeah and, um, at the Roosevelt um, Museum at Hyde Park, there are a couple of very nice ones with Franklin and Eleanor. Right. Uh, right. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a real person. It can just be a... An artistic endeavor of a person. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you know that encourages a little bit of interaction, but it's not something that seems 
you know, fragile or, or easily damaged, like I'd be worried a bit on, on something that's uh, mobile. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I like, I like the one, the interactive, I like the bench. Okay, just bear in mind, you do have a budget. Of course. Okay. Right, I mean, that was what I was thinking, is that yeah, we're Richard. gonna have probably a bit of an easier time finding someone to do an abstract. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Then if we go for, I mean, that's cast, the, the stuff that that guy sent with the guy on the bench, I think it's cast bronze. <laughs> and, and bronze, we can't afford it all. Yeah, Carmel took me to her friend's house he, and the husband does bronze and it was like 250,000. Yeah. Um, I like oh. the kids, I remember Loretta saying once having, um, like like a family, I know that's a lot though, that would be expensive, but heading toward the walkway, you know, like about to cross the yeah. street, that would be so cool. Mm -hmm. Anne-Marie, you know, we can't see you. I mean, maybe- You don't, all of a sudden I disappeared. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, so look down at the bottom where you have um, audio, see if maybe that was clicked for some reason. Let me see if I can fix you. But I just thought maybe you're in the bathroom, you know. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are. You're oh, back. there you are. Yay! Yeah, yeah. You're back. I don't know. Did you wash your hands? Oh, just <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, a million gazillion times a day. Yeah, right. Hi, so, Mary. Does anyone else have any ideas? Hi hey there. To us? The next, the, what I see happening next is the subcommittee will get together and review the ideas we receive from the town residents, as well mm -hmm. as the commission's ideas. And we define more what we're looking for. So if you have an opinion or an idea, tell us now. <laughs> then did soon. Okay, and will, also we'll, Bridget we'll, and Jillian, I know I saw an email, you guys were talking about um, grants and stuff. Any further on that or you just keep looking? Um, I think just looking now still once, it's hard to know until we know what we're looking for in the budget. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, what kind of grants we can apply for. So. Okay. So, Catherine, uh, can I make a suggestion? Yeah. Okay, it's Marion. Um, I would recommend everyone go to Kent. Almost every lawn on Main Street has a sculpture, and you can see the, you know, the breadth and the depth of it, what it looks like, the background and everything, and then try to transfer that down to the pocket garden. And it's very interesting, um, different artists throughout. Yeah, so if, you um, have, if you have, a, you know, time to drive up there, it's, uh, on, it's just on Main Street was right. the only place we went. Alex yeah, I, sent us a bunch of pictures from right. Kent. And Alex, did you, I don't, I don't recall this, but did you ever find out like, it would be good to talk to people at Kent, maybe in their town hall and see uh, how they got that going, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I went to their town hall and it wasn't a municipal body that uh, set that up. I, I may have put a note in the email when I sent the pictures around. I, I don't recall the detail right now, but I would have had to go find some Kent Historical Society or something like that, that has an office that has part-time people, or at least did before the shutdowns, uh, somewhere on Main Street to find out any more, and I just didn't have the chance to do that. The okay. vast majority of those sculptures are Joy Brown, and she's represented by the Morrison Gallery. I have a feeling that it's public art through the Morrison Gallery who's waiting on building a new building. That's the impression I'm getting. Are like they up are they up in Kent or something that yeah. it's exclusive? Like do you think she would reach out down south more? Who, Joy? Yeah. Yeah, if we give her money. <laughs> <laughs> Anything for Bob. Uh, Jillian, are you, are you implying that they're on exhibit there sort of to promote? I, the I think that's the... what it is. Like oh, okay. That, okay. The, I sent a couple to the sculpture subcommittee. Okay. Um, at least one of them was in the on Broadway in the city two years mm -hmm. ago, maybe. 
and now it's back and it's huge and it's got to go somewhere. So if somebody wants to buy it, they'll sell it. But for the representative is the Morrison Gallery. They used to be in one location and have a, a lot of her smaller work. And now they moved out of that location. And I'm fairly sure from looking at her website that they're building another gallery at which point some of the smaller work will go back into that gallery. And right now it's, it's just a small space. So they have some of it inside and you can look at it through the windows. I think it would be a lot cheaper if we could find one that's already made. Yes. But right. Well, this got is, to be, they are. Yeah. Well, but it's got to be something that kind of fits I, I our theme. All the artist names that you guys have given me, I tried to do some research on them and I wasn't able to find any pricing on that artist up in Kent that you're talking about. Well, do you want me to reach out to the Morrison Gallery and get a bulk arc? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. I, I, uh, um, jo I, Jillian and Catherine, I am a friend of uh, Stare at Gettings, uh, Kelsey, because she has two there at the bank, at the Webster Bank. And I will get a hold of her and ask her how she brought good old got her work up there. Right. And uh, we, I took pictures of it. But anyway, um, you know, how did she get involved? And did they ask her? Or did they buy? Are they buying them? Whatever. Okay. So I'll I'll check with her and Jillian can go the other direction if that's okay. Good. I was able to find pricing on that artist. It was he was in New Fairfield, I believe his name was Bob. I. I'll have to jump. Yeah, I'm losing his, his name. And he is, it, has, is it David Boyaz? <laughs> That's it, Boyazian. Boyazian. Yeah, I'm looking he at his stuff a, right now. He did have a site where he was actually selling things and things were priced. And there was there was a handful of things that were in the fifteen to twenty thousand dollar range. Mm. Um, they were abstracts of. Uh, when they go fiddleheads and things like that, the uh, you know the spring fern when it's uh, developing. Uh, oh, excuse me, bless you. I just stuck um, a link to his outdoor mm -hmm. metal sculpture in the chat. Okay. Right. So, um, so I hope that the the subcommittee can meet next week either through a conference call or we'll do another video uh, a zoom meeting and we can kind of get our strategies together and see what we want to go what our next step will be good. good good hey shannon could you put that link after we're done like reply all to when i sent the agenda sure because right i don't now. know when you have it on chat how you save it after that um so did you were you able to ask at the um meeting about uh, the capital budget, is there money in it for us? Just the 10,000 that we're aware of right now. There's no right. other monies than that. Okay. Right. And is the 10,000 just for us or does that include the benches and all that? No, the bench, uh, the, well, the benches would be separate. The yeah, forget would... about the benches. I mean, the lights and the yeah. cement and all that. I, I was told that we had $10,000 for the sculpture. Right. Good. Benches and stuff are under some other line. And the good. lights and everything. So we yeah. have ten so ten thousand's a lot, yeah. I think. It's a good start. It's great. Especially um, if, if so that thing good. that um what was that, Jilly, in the um sustainable because sustainable you, CT town. If yep. you put money in there, they match it. And he said it can be town money. It can't all be town money, you know, so like we, we'd have to raise some other money, but they would match that. Like maybe five thousand worth. We'll talk to the guy. His sure. name was Art. Yeah. I honestly think that that is a good bet for us. That particular thing, because if we put it out there that we're looking for money for a sculpture, I think we'll get it. Maybe a lot of small donations. But I think that people in town will come up with $5, $10, $15, and that adds up. 
Right. And I, like, even if we all put in, he said, every time somebody puts in $20, they meet $20 up until 12,000. So if, if we can say we raise 5,000 of people putting money in, then they double that. And then they'll, they'll double some of what the town, we'll have to see how much of the town money we can put in that he would um, match it. Right. And also, of course, the state's in dire straits right now, money-wise, so. But they're still doing the- um, Sustainable? Nope, they're doing the program grant. Or no, I'm sorry, they're not doing the program grant, which was the bigger dollar amount. I have a feeling they rate, rated it for emergency money. artist mm -hmm. money, but they're doing um, a grant, the Reggie, the regional one. Um, Do you want me to call? I still have the voicemail of the man from Sustainable that I was on the phone with him for like a good 45 minutes. Do you want me to call him and see if Sustainable is still on? Sustainable is still on. And it's up to 12,000 they'll match? I, that I don't know exactly, but I know Sustainable is still on. Okay, I'm gonna give him a quick call, you know, just to get, so we got, and I'll let Loretta know. Okay. Okay, anything else? Do you want to talk about the benches and the Lions Club has money set aside for benches? Sure, please don't and tell I'm me I was supposed to do that. something. No, what? you weren't supposed to do anything. Okay. Um, they have, uh, I, I believe it's been donations, um, that they've wanted to put in benches. So they're thinking that would be a good spot. They have $3,000 allocated. They're just not quite sure, you know, will we be buying the benches? Will the town be buying the benches? Does the uh, Lions Club buy the benches? So I think when we get closer, we'll just need to have some guidance on that. But they are planning we're not on buying benches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a stab at that. We're not buying. <laughs> no, I think she means- I don't think you want them to buy them either, but I don't know. I no. No, yeah, I think she just means that they don't want to be like have to do that part. They'll give us the money. I personally think the town would be the best bet to buy the benches because they buy benches all the time. Right. And also, Greg was saying something about having a plaque behind every bench. I don't know where that's coming from. The other thing I was wondering, um, remember, you guys, that there was something that was going to be there were going to be signs along the way. Do you remember that? That was the historical society was doing something and they were going to be putting blocks from one location through the center of the Hornet area. Um, mm -hmm. I, I did try to reach out to the historical society and I mean, this is, this has to go back a year. I know this was a long time ago. And so you never got an answer. No, I left a couple messages on the answering machine, and then okay. someone told me that there wasn't it wasn't a historical society. There's an historical. There's some other group that sounds historical, and that was okay. we were trying to see if maybe what we did could complement what they did. Right. I never heard back from them. Right. Okay. Anything else on this? No. All right. Well, this was a good conversation. And you guys, if you have a meeting and then want to get back to us before our next meeting, um, you know, like maybe send the minutes or something like that, that's fine. Okay. okay. Um, so I don't think you, is the treasurer report, is it the same amount? I didn't yeah, say I had no activity in the treasury. So it's the same $2,798. Um, if we're getting yep. any invoices from anywhere, I guess this would be the time to get them. Because right. I asked Lou again. I said, <laughs> I need that stuff because plus I'm going away. I want this taken care of and sent on the way. Right, but we may also might be, I don't know whether um, the theater, if they've shut down, it may jeopardize them if they're getting some other type of funding. If they do invoicing during that time. So it's not, it may not be that she's delaying giving you an invoice, is that if she 
If she's shut down, she's not supposed to be making any revenue. Okay, she- that's a good point. I'll see what she says. I sent it to her, I think yesterday, just like reminding them like, shoot, I'd never got that. But the, the signs invoices I should be able to get because I looked back and all I had was quotes. I need invoices. I can't send you a quote. I need to send you invoices. So, and Sue, did you find out? Um, can we carry over our money? Uh, we're not going to carry it over. He says it gets messy when it becomes encumbered, but don't worry about it. Um, we will find you the money when you, if you happen to have both of the um, film festivals next year. Not okay, thanks. Thanks. Okay. So you'll just take any, because we're going to have a pretty big balance. And if anyone has anything that you think we should purchase, mm-hmm. uh, now's the time to talk because by June meeting, it's going to be too late. And um, anyone have any ideas? Shannon? Sorry, I was just, um, I didn't know if we wanted to put together as kind of like a little like mini fundraising thing um, at home, like um, art or craft kits that parents could, um, you know, give a donation for and then they could pick it up from, um, I guess, in front of the town hall, we would just, you know, they would drive up and we would know like, you know, that they've already prepaid online and then we would hand off that kit to them so that that way it would be, you know, that they could have something to do with their kids or even we could do this for adults. Um, well, Melissa, and- Melissa did that for uh, seniors. I mean, but mm-hmm. she's in charge, but. <clears throat> How yeah. many rocks do you have left? I have a ton of rocks. <laughs> I have a ton of rocks. <laughs> As it were. I'm like, we can totally give everybody a rock <laughs> and they can paint it. Um, and then, you know, that, that actually might be something that we could do where um, the pottery factory is, they're like sending home like little like paint can thingies that like we can just fill up. So like we could buy like a large like amount of paint and like, you know, put colors in there and then like send that home. That would be a good idea. Um, I think it's an awesome idea. Yeah, I like the rocks idea, especially since we have them. Um, when would we do this, though? Like, how would we? And do you think people need paint? I guess they do need paint, huh? Would we be, would we be allowed to display the completed ones, like by town hall or something? Well, that's a good idea. They could paint them and then drop them off back at Town Hall. And we could disperse them. And then- mm-hmm. 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 Too bad we didn't do that the day of the block party, which would be next week, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so what should we do here? Should we? Well, how, well Shannon, how much? What do we have to do? We have to get little things to put paint in to give them to people? Could you get, you know how like they have the strip of paints, like six different yeah. colors in little plastic? Yeah. Do they sell them? So I don't know. I would have to like look. Like this was just something like that like popped into my head, but then like I was, I should have emailed and I didn't because, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, um, but I would have to like look whether or not we could find you know, pre-filled ones, or we would have to buy empty ones that then, you know, we could fill. Um, I think, Jillian, do you still have the paint from last year, or is that in my basement as well? I think it's in your basement. Okay, so I would just need to, like, look and figure out where that is, Um, and then I could just fill it with that. If I can't find that, then I just have to, like, you know, figure out where the heck that went, because... I mean, I know where it's the tent is. Somewhere. I know where everything is, <laughs> except for that. So the only things that we would really need to potentially purchase would be um, paintbrushes, like little mm-hmm. like cheap paintbrushes that we could just you know send home. Um, the paint containers or possibly pre-filled paint, and then um, you know, 
either like a, a box or a baggie or something that like so that everything was together for when they picked it up. And a sticker for putting their name on the back of the rock. Yeah. yeah, we could put instructions, like a sticker that has instructions. I'm a little concerned with um, the, the situation we're in right now, like um, touching stuff. And I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it, but I'm just like wondering how people will be. But I, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know about charging people for it. Can't we just do I mean, this? We could just, I mean, we can just give it out the same way that we would give oh, it out like at the say there's the 10 or 15 or 20 sets and that's it you know and well even more than that i think it depends let's like let's like mm -hmm. a let's make a motion right now to approve yeah. shannon looking into it um what do you guys think two hundred dollars hundred and fifty dollars and then we'll have we'll have like a hundred available and the first hundred people who come and get it I wouldn't Andy. put them together until we get a sign up. Like, you know, we don't want to put a hundred of them together and 20 people come and pick them that's up. A good, right. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, we'll figure all that out. Um, are we going to have this? Um, so do we need a motion here? Somebody want to make a motion? Well, is it just for looking into information or is it for actually spending a certain amount of money? Well, here's the deal. The next meeting is the end of June. So okay. I think if she finds something, she can email us and tell her, tell her, but we can't approve anything over an email. So if we kind of pre motion that she can spend the money now, if it were, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't, but like, okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And then even if it doesn't happen, it's kind of, Mm -hmm. a good idea if we can't get it done by you know we can do it sometime we can do it in july or august or exactly so i'm on michael's website and they have four strips of paint six right. colors they vary mm -hmm. um for 5.99 or and you can get 20 percent off and they have them in stock in brookfield <laughs> so just a 5.99 yeah, so each for yeah. four strips so they would be what a dollar Oh, okay. So that's a buck fifty each. Mm -hmm. yeah. So four strips, and each strip has six. Yeah. So that's like twenty-four little paint things. Yes. Okay. I mean, it's yes. in the ballpark, a couple of hundred. So bucks. you could almost buy, kind of give like three, so you can cut them in half. I would exactly. Think. You don't have to yeah. do all six. Right. I like that. So let's make a motion. Uh, Shannon, are you good looking into all this for us? Sure. Okay. Look. Um. What's a good price? 200? Yeah, sure. I would say 200 because by the time you get the bags to put it in, that's going to cost a lot. And the Couple of Can we do lunch bags, the brown paper bags? So sure. we're not doing more plastic? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I think you can find those at Michael's too, probably. Yeah. So, or even shop right. Brown okay. paper bag. Right. Sure. I okay. hate going shopping though. So <laughs> it's like, I, <laughs> I'm like every two weeks I go, that's it. Um, all right. So let's make a motion. Anne Marie, you good making the motion? I'll make the motion. I make a motion to spend the $200 toward some kind of art supplies. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, Jillian, you good with that? Can you uh, embellish art supplies for a take home or pick up? Um, Brookfield Rocks. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. Good Thank idea, Shannon. Thanks. Okay. Seconded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? All right. Good. Um, so as far as our art exhibits go, we decided last, uh, I think what we have in the agenda is the same as soon as the town hall opens, which Sue, I think is um, tentative for June 1st. That's what Dam Damien was telling me. Sue? I'm sorry, I missed what you said. So Damien was telling me that um, tentatively, the town hall's opening June 1st. 
Uh, that's what we're trying for. Yeah, it'll 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 go in waves, but yeah, that's what the hope is right now. Mm -hmm. Sue, would that mean that the public would be allowed in without prior appointments? Not yet. It's still going to be by appointment. Okay, so I have a feeling. So we're going to have the exhibit that's up open, uh, stay up six weeks longer um, once it opens to the public. So we still don't know when that is. So I think this is all kind of tentative. Jillian said she checked with both Ricky and Cindy, and they're good to do an exhibit when we're ready. So I don't even know if we need an end of the year artist, depends on what happens, but anybody have any ideas for that? The last, the end of the year artist? I know we have time. Yeah, we've got plenty Let's of time. Just think about it. Okay, right. we'll discuss more uh, next meeting. And I know this says I have an artist to share, but I couldn't remember who that was. <laughs> I have to look at my email. <laughs> Well, they didn't send it to the okay. Okay. arts. No, he didn't send it to the arts commission like you're supposed to. So now I'm like, I forget who I'm, I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything to discuss with the um, film festival. Nothing new. No. Okay. And then the scholarship. Uh, Marion, are you good for the scholarship Thursday night? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And Carmel and Alex. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thursday night, I think Mary, Dan, Mary Daniel will be sending you Zoom information. Okay. Yep. I think that may actually be coming from Joanne uh, as the organizer, but there are now, now there are four applications. The fourth one just appeared. How did that happen? They missed the deadline. Well, we decided to let it go. Came through. Came through Mary, uh, I think, and. Um, okay. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so that's going to be discussed this Thursday. And then, Alex, anything How with the poet glory? How many scholarships do you have? Applications Four? or scholarships? Yeah, preferably one. Uh, I mean, no, he's saying applicants. Four. Well, there are four applicants. Okay. For so the fourth applicant should be one. Sent and we approved $500, but it sounds like the FOA is going to kick in some more money, either 250 or five or uh, 500 more. So that's good. Can the fourth applicant be sent to the group? Yeah, I this first I heard of it, but yeah, I'll well, get we, it. we got it late tonight. I couldn't open mine actually. Okay, I'll um I'll I'll just send it on that. By the way, did you all receive the three applicants? Because I realized I never mm -hmm. sent. Okay. Yes. So I'll mm -hmm. just send it on that last email that just has that letter of recommendation. So you okay? I didn't include you. Do you care? Um, no, you don't need to include me. Okay. All right. Um, Poet Laureate, anything? Uh, yes, was actually, uh, th this was an initiative of Yvonne Chech, the library director, and uh, applications were solicited uh, about a month ago. Four applicants have put in oh, their God. applications, and next Monday, uh, they're trying to set up a uh, Zoom selection committee meeting and uh, decide who gets the nod for Great. this uh, Highly lucrative honorary <laughs> position. <laughs> um, that's Memorial Day. Do they know that? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Yvonne is, is doing the organizing. I'll leave yeah. it in her capable hands. You might hands. want a reminder. Um, well, that's exciting. Do you know yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> I was personally surprised that uh, four people felt excited enough about representing the art of poetry in the town of Brookfield. That's great. But that's great. Um, I've just glanced at the applications. Uh, at least two or three of them you know, are, are quite reasonable. People who've who've been involved, who are poets themselves. Uh, a couple of them have some creative ideas about uh, things that uh, they might try to promote in the town. So, uh, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. That's wonderful. Good. Uh, sidewalk chalk, chalk festival. You guys game for doing that? I think we should. 
right? Mm -hmm. I think we should tentatively plan to do it since we can do it outside on the sidewalk and see where we are in the beginning of July. We, we can spread out the blocks of, of exactly. sidewalk far enough. Uh, that's not going to be a issue. Yeah, and also we, we have gloves. Um, if the kids are more comfortable collecting their chalk with gloves, that's fine. Alex, you have the box of gloves, member for the film festival. Uh, that's all been used up. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I had a box of gloves that was used for food service at the film festival, oh, unless there's something in that big tub. Um, I had a cardboard box of 100 gloves. Disposable. Is that what you're talking about, Catherine? Yeah, but I thought that that's in that box, no? Well, I haven't opened the tub, but I had the cardboard box here at home and it got used up here as we got into uh, a time when we were using gloves. Okay. Do me a favor and check that because if we don't have gloves, um, I need to order gloves, not just for that, but for the film festival. Okay. Uh, well, that assumes that we'll be doing food service. I know, but eventually we will. Eventually we will. Okay. So, I'll, I'll check. I'll take a look what's in the tub. Yeah, I'm kind of, I kind of think they're, they're in there, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, okay. Okay. So what do you want early July? Oh, just plan it for July sometime. But remember, we did it in late July, and we didn't have such a great turnout last year. So then uh, you decided to do it maybe in early August. I think we did late in August. August. I thought we did oh, late, late August. Yeah, last, last year, year was definitely were, in August. Yeah, but last year people were allowed to travel. Yeah, right. That's a little sure. different this year. And then also, sure. like, we wanted to do it in conjunction with one of the concert in the park. That's another thing. Are we having that? Probably not. Who knows? Um, we talked about it tonight. We uh -huh. have not ruled it out. Steve and okay. Mary are still talking. We're thinking maybe we won't have the first couple, but we don't want to rule out the whole season. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So. Who's Mary? Mary Knox, Park and Rec. Oh, Mary Knox, okay. So. Will we be having a farmer's market? Because yes. maybe, yeah, so I think they're planning maybe on we it. can do it in conjunction with the farmer's market. But the yeah. farmer's market is moving, so it's not as um, immediate. I mean, it's still a, on in the same general area, but it won't be as easy to walk down from. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I think you guys still want a Friday afternoon. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So I'll ask um, permission officially from Ginny and Steve. We can't ask you right now, Sue, right? It has to come from Steve. Yeah, I would ask him. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Get it, get it official. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Am I giving a date or just saying sometime in July? We'll see if he's open with sometime in July. If he wants a date, I'll pick a date. Okay? I would do late July though. Yeah, me too. Okay. All right, uh, new business. Going once, going twice, <laughs> all right. Gone. Uh, next meeting, June 22nd, maybe yeah. yet. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. And we'll if see. anything else comes up, you know, just reply all uh, on any email. Um, are we good? We're good. So, anybody have anything to say? This is good. I like these meetings. Mm -hmm. 13. Two. See that. <laughs> And we don't have to drive home. Hmm? But I miss the cookies. But we don't have your cookies. Yeah. <laughs> no cookies, no candy. Don't worry, I'm eating them for you. <laughs> okay, well, ha have good luck. Say, stay safe. And um, Bridget, we didn't hear much from you, but <laughs> nice to see your smiling face there. Nice to join. Anything you want to add or be good? Um, 
Anything I want to add? No, um, no, not this time. Okay. <laughs> so until June, if you have any purchases that you think, oh, for, I forgot mm -hmm. that, um, let me know. Um, could I have a motion that um, any purchases that you come up with up to tell me if this is legal, any purchases that we think of before our next meeting up till $200, I have authority to purchase. Is that legal? I so move. So is that legal? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. we can do a motion for that. So that was my motion. Carmel seconded. Um, aye. Okay. All in favor, aye. 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 Okay. Aye. So if anyone thinks of anything, let me know, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank, you, Thank you, everybody. This worked well. Bye. 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 Thanks, Happy Sunny. Memorial Day. Stay yeah. well, everyone. Okay. Enjoy. Bye. Bye.